Hello everyone, Jacques from Dapper Shaves. Um, shave video as always. I've just gotten out the shower, so I'm still wet. One of the th first things I do is use um, alum as a deodorant and an antiperspirant. It's applied to my uh, wet skin. Excellent to, to manage the bacteria and the stuff that causes um, odors. And I smell lovely the whole day. So that's the first thing I do. With that out the way, today's shave is going to be um, with the 16mm um, Iwasaki. Um, and we'll talk about the Iwasaki. It's an asymmetrical um, grind. Okay. And it's made from Swedish steel, but we'll step into that. I'm going to use grooming department's um, Mallard, the duck um, soap. This one is uh, chocolate. Chocolate and vanilla is the notes there. And I'm going to use my um, bore brush. Uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about skin prep and stuff, let's quickly talk about the razor. So the razor is made from Swedish steel, so that's something not everybody always know. Um, and so maybe on that topic quickly, um, honing. So because it's Swedish steel all over, there isn't a harder and a softer side. So um, ratios is not always the best method to hone and sharpen these razors. Um, so just consider that I fundamentally nearly do I don't count but it's very close to what I would do with a, with a, with a western straight razor if the bevel set on one side and I'm hitting the apex then I'm done then, then it's about polishing um, well, so why the Iwasaki? I have got a few um, straight razors and have, have had many over the years. Um, I know what I like, so I fundamentally like um, extra hollows, hollow grains and razors specifically with a pronounced belly. Um, what is referred to as a, a for tough beards. Um, and it's not because I've got a particularly tough beard, it is because I like the efficiency of that grind. So the Iwasaki, I showed you guys, I've got um, what they call fundamentally, it's an asymmetrical grind, but it's um, shaped like a chisel. So uh, that has got a very stiff, very firm uh, blade and edge stability um, which makes it a very efficient shaver. This specific razor is a 60 millimeter so the blade length is um, 60 millimeters. They are normally 50 millimeters or shorter. Um, I tend to nick and cut myself a lot easier with a shorter um, Japanese razors than with um, something with a bit of a longer blade length and hopefully that will hold through today uh, I haven't focused a lot on the soap it's very nice very slick um, so let's see how that goes there's plenty left there for a second pass. So this is going to be a two pass shave and I'm not sure how I'm going to approach it so we're just gonna go. Soap up the nostril. <coughs> so that was not a great start
What you'll see is I do a 45 degree stroke. I've got a mark on my nose. Um, can't remember where I was. Um, 45 degrees across my neck. It gives a nice close shave. Stretching the skin nicely. When I get to my goatee line um, lately, um, you'll see I, I, I make a cut here and then I um, follow my jawline up so, uh, generally. So let's see if I can do this with a Kamasori. Soap's really nice and slick. It's got a nice stability to it. Um, nice and hydrated. So, yesterday's shave was um, with a 14 karat. with a nice big fat belly on. And that was also a nice two paw shave. I've got a red spot on my nose. I think it's red. I got soap up on my nose. I, um, I don't know, I did something. The other nice thing about the Kamasori is I rinse it like you with the DE in the sink. Very nice, you don't need to worry about anything. Not that it should be a problem because you should be drying your razor properly. So because it's an asymmetrical grind and if things are true, these razors were made so that your partner um, could shave you. So um, when somebody else does it, the blade face, the ura, will always be facing away from the skin. That's how the person would be shaving you. Okay, so uh, the backside's always flat against the skin. That's how that person would be shaving you. Um, and generally people try and do that. But it's definitely not required. If an uh, edge and an apex Apex of the bevel is set correctly and you've polished it, um, both sides will be sharp. So it's just understanding the angle and slightly adapting.
I'm not talking a lot, uh, and that's because I'm really enjoying the shave. I always enjoy my shaves, but um, this one today particularly is going very well. I was a bit skeptical when I started um, with soap up the nostril. <laughs> and that is um, a good friend of mine was playing football this morning with his chubby three in the bathroom, dropping it four times. but saving it with his football skills. And needless to say, his shave didn't go well. Um, he was shaving with a straight, but then switched to a D. So when my shave started, With the soap up the nostril, you would have seen there was a bit of a pause, me wondering, hmm, should I continue? Die Hans Wolfs met die rooi nie is. Um, the soap from grooming department, quite good, not quite good, very good. Nice and sleek. Not nice up the nostril. <coughs> that left a burning sensation. Other things I like about the Iwasaki The toe has got a very fine, very small, minute 45 degree grind in it So it's not sharp right to the edge Which is wonderful They did not do it at the toe which actually um, can be nice But the blade's nice and big enough at 60 mils. So that I don't need to worry too much. And once you've got Most of the worry out the way, the shaves are a lot easier and more comfortable. <coughs> you saw on my neck, <coughs> pushing my larynx and my air pipe sideways <coughs> to get into these um, concave hollow areas. Stretching the skin. Okay, so on the first pass we went this way, now we're going to do the opposite way, opposite direction.
This um, I call it the chimpanzee lip. Mm. That helps a lot to get to that difficult areas. And trust me, the lip can be a difficult one. Right, there's a thing which they call the fool's pass, and that's fundamentally against the grain, underneath the nose. There we go guys, that's a two pass shave. These specific razors, I showed in my previous angle that you can use shallower um, blade angles if you want to catch a couple of areas. So a stiffer, firmer blade edge also helps with this. Iwasaki. Okay, to clean the razor, very easy, you just rinse that off, off in the basin with the water. I strop on my palm, that's the easiest way to make sure the edge is clean and dry. Um, hot water and then a hair dryer. <coughs> And then I uh, put the Iwasaki down on the window so it's safe out the way and can vent before I will strop it, um, dry it and put it back where it belongs, in its coffin. I really like the soap, shout out the grooming, grooming department. Welcome to try this stuff, I think it's good. The red nose. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so the brush is um, already rinsed. That's why 
post shave. Post shave. Um, I think we're going to send it grooming department. <clears throat> they have also got um, a hydrating gel with 2% um, hyaluronic acid in. Um, very good for your skin. You need to apply it to a, a damp, wet skin like this. I'm going to use Master Soap Creations Deep Blue Splash. So what I do is I take two squirts of this gel in my hand and then I add five drops, five or six drops of this um, in my hand, mix that well, oh man. Right, that's me. Kamasori Shave, grooming department's chocolate duck. Really enjoyed that. You guys must have a fantastic day. Ciao.